In this rapid strike painting video, I'll show you how to quickly paint Operative Delta from the close quarter battle miniature range. A few simple coats of paint will get your model to a tabletop quality and ready for a rapid deployment to your next clandestine mission. I've listed the paints I've used for this project here. Super glue, some hobby files, and a hobby knife would be needed as well. To start, use a file to clean the casting lines and a knife to cut away any excess plastic from the manufacturing process. Primer in black. I prefer to use a spray primer for a smooth base coat. I base with Citadel Sterling Mud. To apply it, I use the Citadel Texture Spreader. This tool has a bit of flex, making spreading the mud easier and quicker. Dry brush Baylor Brown over the Sterling Mud to give the texture a nice tone that pops. Dry brushing the base right away allows you to go fast. Don't worry if you get some on the model, you'll fix it later. Paint the pants and shirt Vulcan Green. Try and get your coat as even as possible. Dry brush the shirt and pants Elysian Green. Don't worry if you're a little messy, you'll fix it later. Paint the ghillie suit Death Corpse Drab in Katachan Flesh. Randomly pick out bits of the suit with each color. Highlight the Death Corpse Drab with Lauren Forest and the Katachan Flesh with Doom Bowl Brown. Paint the flesh with Bugman's Glow Try and get your coat on as even as you can. Paint Kessler Flesh over the Bugman's Glow, just leaving the recesses the base color. Wash Reikland Flesh Shade over the flesh, allowing it to pool in the recesses. This will help even out your highlights and give a better flesh tone. Apply an even coat of Averlin Sunset over the hair. Wash Agrex Earthshade over the hair to pick out all the detail. Paint the belt, straps, pouches, pistol holster, knee pad, all with Mechanica Standard Grey. Leave a little bit of black showing in the recesses. Paint a thin coat of Black Templar over all the areas you had painted Mechanica Standard Grey. This will give you a quick highlighted black look. Paint Iron Warriors under the metal parts of the gun. Leave a little bit of black showing in the recesses. Use Rhinox Hide to paint the boots and the wooden parts of the gun. Once again, leave a little bit of black showing in the recesses. Paint the rim of the base Abaddon black. This will help your model stand out on the battlefield. Spray a thin coat of matte varnish onto the models. This will help your model survive transport to the battlefield and tone down any shine it might have acquired from the shade and contrast process. Enhance your model's appearance by adding a few tufts onto the base using white glue. I used Woodland Tufts from Army Painter. Now you're ready to deploy to a distant war zone.